my name is Sundaresh and Jairaman. I'm a professor in material science and engineering. And, um, you know, she, she's taking care of all the messes we create. And what we want to do in our school is not just one course, but looking at it as an entire program, what is it that we do? So we want to promote the concept of what we call green thinking. And if you didn't notice, GT stands for Georgia Tech, but we want to make it green thinking. Okay? Can you imagine walking out of your home without your clothes this morning? Just think about it. Right? So it's so natural for us to wear clothing. So we want green thinking to be an integral part of our lives so we don't have to do green thinking. It comes naturally to us. Right? So we start off what we have a, a three-phase approach in our school where this becomes an integral part of their lives. At the freshman year, we start laying the foundation where we students learn about sustainability, what exactly it means, what the UN SDGs are at the freshman level. Then we build on that in the uh, third and fourth year courses where we are creating opportunities for exploration so they can see how what they have learned in the freshman year is something that they can apply. So slowly we build on it, so by the time they come to the senior year, that's what we mean by capping the learning. So they have to bring everything that they have learned together to demonstrate in their capstone design courses. In other words, green thinking is not something that they have to do, it becomes an integral part of their lives. So what do we do in uh, MSc 1111, the freshman course? By the way, it's a team effort, and all my colleagues were listed on the opening slide if you saw that. So what we do there is we op bring, open up the dialogue saying, what exactly is fast fashion? What is an iPhone? You know, what does it mean clean water in Africa? And you, you know, our students are carrying all those Amazon boxes from TechSquare. What do all those things mean? So it's a dialogue where we go through this and then look at this center here. Our iPhones require that material where you've got 14 year olds and 12 year olds working in the mines, right? So that's what I want them to think as they are learning about sustainability so it becomes an integral part of their life. So they don't have to do sustainability, it just comes naturally just as we wear clothes, okay? So that's a whole paradigm here. Uh, think about what happened in New York last summer. What happened in La Hina? So the point here is, these are all the things that we as material scientists are responsible for, but I want the kids to realize that we are creating a lot of waste, right? Thanks to you for taking care of the waste, okay? And we want them to know that the UN SDGs are providing a path for taking care of that. So what they do is we talk about UN SDGs, you know, go through all the 17 briefly, but we make a key point that there are no baseline metrics, right? So if you want to uh, measure progress, you need metrics, and I want the students to realize that we do not have baseline metrics, so measuring progress is a challenge. And then we go through all the uh, 17 SDGs and have them do a project at the end of the semester where they have to pick one of these SDGs and talk about from a materials perspective. So what we have done in the freshman year is laid this nice foundation for them in terms of what UN SDGs are, so they think of it both in their personal lives and their professional lives. So then we move into the uh, mid-level courses, and we have a course called Materials Processing Laboratory, where my colleague, Dr. Himani, what she does is she brings the entire picture together. Because when you talk about materials, first and foremost, you need to extract it, you need to process it, and then what do you do at end of life? So now they have learned about UN SDGs in the freshman level, they come here, they learn about all these things here, and they have to select a paper or two and write about how the SDGs impact any or one of these processes here. So we're also bringing the companies such as Novellis and Solvay and others into the partnership. So again, they, we want them to appreciate connections, and this is where in this course, you know, what is responsible consumption? How are materials processed? What does it mean to, you know, how do materials impact the climate? So all these factors is what they are learning, and more importantly, they are demonstrating that the foundation we have laid is very strong. So then they come to the capstone design courses. All along, we've been talking about what we call design thinking, because that's what we want our students to do, is to design thinking. Think about, you know, when you're designing something, how does it impact the end user? 
Now we are transitioning from design thinking to green design thinking, because when you think about design, it start off, starts off with user requirements. What exactly does the user want? We go through the entire cycle of selecting materials, the manufacturing methods, and how it's going to be used, disposed at the end of the life. Right? So this is where they demonstrate, as part of their material selection process, the manufacturing methods, equity. You saw that slide where we are getting the materials for cobalt from uh, countries where 14-year-olds are working. So we want them to think about those things. So from material science and engineering perspective, we believe the GT, as in green thinking, journey is exciting. Okay? And more importantly, we want it to become an integral part of our lives, just as you and I would not have walked out of our homes without our nice clothes on. Okay? That's the whole idea here, is it becomes GT is not just Georgia Tech, but it's also green thinking. Thanks to all my wonderful colleagues who contributed to this uh, effort. Thank you.